got to start this video off by unboxing the... Damn, that was such a good intro I messed up. We got to start off this video by unboxing the book Chapter 1 by Nike and Devin Booker. I know there's been a lot of disappointment in this shoe as far as the silhouette itself and even the rollout. Like a lot of people wanted that all orange colorway to be the first one that drops. Technically it did, but it was so limited that none of us were able to get it because it only released at Miami Art Bezel. Anyway, the shoe itself I'm excited for because y'all know I'm going to test it on court obviously because you're watching this video. What it reminded me of was the Air Force 25s, which was a version of the Air Force 1 that they made for the 25th year anniversary of the shoe but this shoe kind of reminds me of a even newer modern version of that shoe which is dope because i love that shoe too so i like simple simple works like look at the kobe nike one that shoe was just an all leather upper with this swoosh yeah it works i gotta say they feel really really light and they feel really really cheap midsole feel, feels very very cheap it doesn't feel like it has any bounce to it but maybe that's what booker wanted he wanted more of a firm midsole as far as the upper material goes i wasn't expecting anything great the shoe's gonna have synthetic leather it's gonna have a little bit of suede here on the toe it's not gonna be the best of materials because the price point is fairly affordable for a hoop shoe i did notice that the ankle collar is very very padded that's gonna help out with the lockdown on your ankle area so you don't roll your ankle so you're nice and snug in the shoe they also did that with the jaw ones that ankle area had so much padding in it and i personally loved it when i hooped in it because i felt like my foot was straight in place the insole seems pretty basic basic nike basketball insole nothing too special the tongue has nice padding to it i like that i love a padded tongue we got a translucent outsole it's not completely translucent it's just more so like a milky translucent but it goes well with the colorway the colorway is not bad but again for a first colorway of the shoe i feel like they needed to do something that stands out more but again we're here for the performance so let's put them to the hardwood apologize for the interruption but we got to talk about today's sponsor of the video an actual longtime sponsor of the channel my good friends over at C Geek. SeatGeek has over 28 million downloads, making it the number one ticketing app. There's literally over 70,000 events on SeatGeek every single day. Concerts, sports, festivals, and more. I actually just went to the WWE Royal Rumble because I got my tickets from SeatGeek. I'm gonna have a whole video about that soon, but stay tuned for that. And yeah, and like I said, Drake's on tour, but also Travis, Bad Bunny, and a bunch of other artists are on tour right now, so you definitely want to grab your tickets from SeatGeek. One thing I love about SeatGeek, which makes it super super easy to find good deals is their rating system they rate each ticket on a scale of one to ten so green means a good deal and red obviously means a bad deal and every ticket is backed up by the buyer guarantee seeky is the only website that lets you do this you can return your tickets before the event with swaps of course we got to hook y'all up with a little bit of a discount code use kice to get $20 off. Yes, that's $20 off your first purchase. I'm gonna leave the link down below for SeatGeek. Again, SeatGeek and I have been working together since like 2015. I've been able to experience so many dope events from sports to concerts. And I want y'all to go out and have a good time as well. So use my code, download SeatGeek, and shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the video. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is time to give you my honest thoughts and opinion on the book one after playing with them for one day. I played five on five, I shot around, I got some warm ups in. I don't really need more than one day of hooping to really know whether or not I like a basketball shoe. And I feel like this shoe right here didn't need a break in period. Like as soon as I put them on the, on the hardwood, they felt good. I was ready to go. There was no like foot cramping or anything like that. Like, yeah, they were good. They fit great. And I guess that's where we'll start is the sizing. True to size. Uh, there was one point of the day when I was playing and running back and forth on full court. And my toe started to really hit 
the edge of the foot on my left foot as well as this toe area right here. And I think it just needed to just be tied down a little bit more to keep my foot in place. Like the cushioning here on the ankle area kept my ankle area locked in, but because I didn't tie them tight enough, I was catching myself having to keep, you know, pressing on the back of the shoe to move my forward to the back, move my foot to the back so that my toe would stop hitting against this narrow toe box. And it is a very narrow toe box, if you guys can see. It kind of just points down, kind of like a Yeezy 350 in a way. I would still recommend going true to size because if you go bigger, it's not going to give you more room. It's just going to make it longer and it's still going to go narrow down. So, but once I retied them, I was good for the rest of the day. As far as the performance goes, let's start out with the traction. I would say the traction was mid-level, a little bit above mid-level. It wasn't a1, it wasn't amazing. It was just kind of there. I didn't really have any slipping and sliding issues, but I did catch myself cleaning the bottoms of the shoes every other play. The court that I play at is a regular LA fitness court. They just sweep it here and there. So it's not the best traction in the world and it's not the worst traction in the world. So these did hold up, but I did catch myself cleaning the bottoms every couple plays just to give myself extra grip. Yeah, maybe I do that with my Kobe's as well. Maybe it's just the gym. I'm sure on a really nice taken care of court, these would have held up great. So no real complaints with the traction. It wasn't outstanding. It wasn't horrible. It was just right there in the middle. It did its job and it got me through the day. I don't even want to compare these to another shoe. I feel like it was its own experience, but its own experience that was just kind of basic. I think it's a good hoop shoe. Like this is a great hoop shoe for like a high school basketball team. If Nike was sponsoring a team and they all got the D book one, there should be no problems at all. Every kid should be happy with this because it's just a very good hoop shoe. Is it an amazing hoop shoe? No, it's not Kobe 8 level, Kobe 6 level, but it's also not trash. It's just a really solid basic hoop shoe like if you're just looking for an all-around shoe this is your go-to shoe right here so yeah it just holds up nice like i said this is just a like for me at the age that i'm at i'm older my knees are getting weaker so i wouldn't prefer to hoop in this every single time and no this is not going to be staying in my rotation i think it was just a one and done day of hooping in these just so that I could do the review. I'm going back to all my Kobe's. The midsole, the midsole was a little firm for me and that was good and bad because the firmness of the midsole, I was able to move around quicker. I felt like I had a lot more bounce back because it was so firm. I wasn't like sinking into the shoe. So if you like a firm midsole that's very responsive, this shoe is definitely going to be for you. Oh, it's Air Zoom. Okay, it does have Air Zoom, but I don't know, you know, how big that Air Zoom unit is in here. I'm assuming it's just right here because that's where it says it on the mids on the outsole. So yeah, if you need responsive, a responsive midsole, quick cutter to the hoop, this is going to be good for you. But then also, there's no like shank plate or anything to give you that like push forward. So some people might not like that. I really didn't have an issue with that, but you know, everybody's different. So yeah, the D book is good. Great shoe. If you like Devin Booker, or if you want just an all around simple Nike basketball shoe, you shouldn't have any issues with this. It should be a good all around shoe. But if you're looking for something with more performance, something that's like more of a Kobe vibe. I wouldn't say this is a Kobe vibe. I would say the jaw ones are more of a Kobe vibe than this is. I thought this was gonna be very similar to a Kobe just because that's what Book used to hoop in. So I thought he was gonna really go after the Kobe type of shoe. That's pretty much my review of the D Book one. And honestly, I don't even know what to do with these since I'm done hooping in them. So maybe I'll give them away. Comment section, let me know who's a size 10.